Hello again. Welcome back. As some of you have probably seen my videos before, this is an update on the truck. I think it's pretty much finished for now. We are actually there. That is... This is what it's going to be for a while before we keep going. So, um... As you probably saw, the last video was really long. I was explaining everything in detail. I'm probably not going to explain in that much detail again. But, um, so this time I'm probably going to show you under the hood, though, as well. So, um, we'll see how that goes. Um, so first we'll just give you a look, a little look around. You'll probably notice what's new currently. Suspension, as you've seen in one of the previous videos. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much the truck. Um, so, where I left you off, uh, I had windshield wipers coming, I had a fuel tank filler unit or whatever coming, and I had front mud flaps coming, and as you can probably see, that all came in, so that's pretty much finished. Um, windshield wipers, unfortunately, didn't go exactly well, as you can see. But, for the most part, I think they look really good. They're actually SCX-10-2 Cherokee windshield wipers, which I didn't realize when I bought. But then I was like, hmm. Um, so I actually cut the ends off them, and I cut the end back, and I drew a little line on it. And it turns out they worked pretty good. They're the way they're supposed to be. I definitely cross-referenced with a real Land Rover Defender picture. Um, that's about where they should be mounted, so I think it really brings out the front there. That's really good. Um, I also did Sharpie in the lines. Um, sorry about my autofocus, but there's now Sharpie in those vents there, so I think that just highlights them a little bit. Um, down here is still the same. Still got the winch and the chain. Um, with the winch, that should not be like that. It should be like that. Um, so, one thing I'm considering, and I would like your guys' input on it, is I'm thinking putting of different tires on it. Um, I probably would like the Axial or the Pro Line um, BF Goodrich all-terrain KO2 tires, because they're just, I think they'd be more scale. Um, let me know what you think. Should I keep these tires on there, the more capable ones, or should I should I go with those other tires? I'm not really sure what I'm going to do at this point, but um, those are those are those tires. Um, so next, we turn it around. We just got the uh, windshield wipers, and maybe I can shed a little light on the subject here. Here is the filler cap. Um, yeah, I think it's actually pretty good. Unfortunately, it's an Intigy. Um, I didn't know that also when I bought it. I actually, it came um, white, came white plastic, so I had to get some paint and stuff like that to paint it up, which is okay, because I think it 
turned out actually okay. Um, the installation was okay. I just kind of went in, went at it. Um, so that is what it is pretty much. The, I did overcut just a tiny bit. Right down there. Um, so, but it's not very noticeable at all. I think I'd call that a success of a installation. And you can see that makes it look 10 times better. Just 3D filler cap. And then the other thing that I got installed and they actually came in today, which I'm really, really, really happy about. And they weren't exactly amazing at first, but now they're really growing on me. As you can see front mud flaps on there. That, I think, just completes the truck so well. I think it looks absolutely amazing and there is a difference between the rear and the front so I'll tell you that but the bracket that was shown in the picture is not the bracket that came it turns out the bracket that came for this one is right there I'm not sure I can show you because I don't have a flash option Right there, it's that thing. This thing. Not what was shown in the picture. So it turns out it's going to work, and it's going to work just fine. But um, with the mud flaps mounted on the back here, they were sitting too far away from the wheel for my taste. Um, and I don't really care if they rub a little bit. That's okay. I wanted it to look good going straight. Um, so I actually mounted it. Let's see if I can get in there. In the front. Um, this, this one, these front ones are in the front of the bracket. And the rear ones are on the rear of the bracket, as you can see, because I can't quite go to the front because it still has some more dip here. And it would have to come over the dip. And at that point, we're way too close to the tire. So, um, yeah, 3D filler cap. Windshield wipers, which I think are really cool. Front mud flaps. Um, and still everything else that I showed you guys. All the accessories up top. Um, so then there's something else. Here is the battery I'm running. Um, right now there's a 3-cell 2600 in there. It's partially charged. But this is the normal battery I'm going to run in this truck. Um, I like this battery. It's a hard case. Adds a little bit of weight. Um, truck is very, very heavy as it is. It's these do, the deep woods do come with really, really soft foams. And the video doesn't portray it very well, but they are unbelievably soft. Now, a lot of you guys are probably going to argue with me, but I don't think I'm going to vent the tires. Um, I like the air trapped in there. I like the seal that it provides. I don't, I mean, I don't need them any more squishy than they need to be. I don't see an Uber need to vent the tires. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, but beyond that, I mean, general overview, fire extinguisher, rope, bucket, chain with new snorkel glued on and screwed on right in the factory mounts. Um, Sharpie lines all around. Those are all Sharpie, 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 Sharpie. This front two things right there are Sharpie. That's a Sharpie point. There's another one there. Um, diamond plating, I think, turned out good. Really good, actually. So, <clears throat> turn it around. Still got this same thing. The stock tire is under here, so as you can hear it under there. Yeah, I think that's kind of funny. Um, jack, spruced up, chain, spruced up, um, cans. You got the toe shackles, the blacked out trailer hitch. Oh, I just think that looks so good. So good. Um, let me turn it a little bit more. You can see the license plate there. The factory light kit is installed, and I will show you that this time. Um, tools, got the door hinges, door handles, a little bit of a, a, a towing rope there, front mud flap, and ladder stickers. 
So yeah, that's that's pretty much the whole truck. Um, so the next thing I think I'm going to show you guys is here's the remote, here's the truck, here's the battery. Up here, cleaned up a little bit as you can see, those are the leftover stickers. This is going to be my on-the-go tool kit because I don't want to lug this with me. And the reason I don't want to take too much stuff because it all has to condense down into this. That is the carrier. That is the transportation. I do not feel like getting the car out, and this is more than capable of doing so. This is my electric bike, as some of you guys have seen in other videos. And it just, just got done charging. Perfect timing. The truck actually, from front to back, fits right in here. This is the new camera holder, because I'm actually planning on going out and running this on the trail for the first time. And I'm going to try and do some takes on video. This is a bag. I'm probably going to put the uh, the battery and all the accessories for the truck in. And then the truck, this has a netting that flips over it. And it actually bolts it all in just perfectly. It is just by chance that this is all going to work out. So um, that's that. <laughs> I'll let you know how that goes. We'll see how the truck comes back after that. So let me pause the video for a second. I'll get the cover off and then we'll plug it in and we'll see what it looks like with all the lights involved. So, all right. So here's the inside. Um, as I said before, it's pretty much mostly stock and I hope to keep it this way. I hope the stock electronics last a long time on it. Um, I like the stock electronics. I like things as they are come out of the factory. So I'm going to try and keep it that way. Battery fits in like that. Um, you put it on the high side for that one. You just clip it in like that. Um, you got diff locking servos and the two speed servo there. This right here is the factory power source um, for the factory light kit. So that just plugs into your XL5 because this cord literally comes dangling there and there's two open spots ready to mount this up. So it was just asking for it. Um, and then that is the servo I got. It's a Power HD 23 kilogram. Um, I think it's going to work plenty good enough. I was okay with the stock speed, although the stock servo did burn out um, without even running it on the trail. But um, I think that servo is going to perform well. And we can see the front. G made SRO2 rims. Um, decided to put those on there. There's the front mud flap, rear mud flaps, and now I can show you closer. This is mounted in the rear, as you can see, and this is the bracket used to mount these mud flaps. And there's the trailer hitch, and you can see the bounciness of the truck. I like it like that. And then we'll turn it over and there you can see the bracket better that is the bracket to mount the front mud flaps it's very different but you can see those mud flaps are actually mounted on the front as these ones are mounted on the rear of the bracket and i think it just makes it look a whole lot better because when you look at it under the truck you see that and i think it looks a lot better than the other way around and it keeps the wheels nice and close. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like under the truck. So now, under the body, you gotta pick it up like this, because it's heavy. All wired up under there. It's kind of a mess. Kind of a pain in the ass, but you do what you got to do. So um, let me pause the video and I'll get it plugged in. I'll show you the stock light kit on the truck all lit up and powered up. All right, that's what it looks like. We got the front lights in there. Um, they are, there is six of them, I think, six or seven. There's the front LED light bar. Now this has a switch on the back that 
brightens and dims it. And believe me, it looks much brighter and dimmer than it does in the video. It's it's pretty bright and dim, and I actually never run it on the bright setting. I always keep it on dim setting because it's more than good enough. And as you can see, factory rock lights under there illuminating the ground for me, which is awesome. Turn the truck. I did wish it came with more lights, but it is what it is for the factory rock lights. And my servo does a lot of that. It never stops chattering like that. It's quite interesting, but it keeps working. So we're just going to keep it that way for now, I guess. If you guys have any idea what it is, I'd appreciate it. Let it me know. Um, rear light and full illumination. Thanks to the rock lights under there, which I think are absolutely magnificent. As you can tell, I really, really like them a lot. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the whole truck. Complete, done, and finished. Ready for the trail, so... Let me see if I can open the curtain here. As you can see, there's kind of a flower shape in there. It's because they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven LEDs in there. And there's the front light bar. It gets brighter and dimmer. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see next. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will definitely try to answer them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the trail.